Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and today I'm doing another Deck of the Week. It's actually been more than a week, probably been about a month or so, but uh, we're back now that I've got some time to make some videos, and we're going through another deck. So for this week's deck, I am going over a blue-white ally deck that was created and submitted to me by Keyblader007. So we'll go ahead and give you the deck list. First of all, for lands, there are eight planes, two islands, two Halimar Depths, four Glacial Fortresses, four Celestial Colonnade, two Sea Chrome Coast, and two Tectonic Edge. For the creatures in the deck, we have four Hat of Free Blades, four Ondu Clerics, four Kazandu Blademaster, two Sun Titans, two Baneslayer Angels, four Halimar Excavators, four Umara Raptors. Then for the other spells in the deck we have two Mimic Vats, two Everflowing Chalice, two Gideon Jura, Two Vincer the Sojourner, two Jace the Mind Sculptor, and then two Elspeth Tyrell. Going down to the sideboard, we have one Jace the Mind Sculptor, one more Elspeth Tyrell, two Frost Titans, three Revoke Existence, three Journey to Nowhere. 3 Ley Line of Sanctity, and 2 Mystifying Maze. So to start off, I'll talk about some things I like about the deck. Um, the lands seem alright. I haven't really tested it enough to know if you get the correct lands or not, but I don't see anything glaringly wrong with the lands. Um, let's see. As far as the creatures go, I would, or I, the things that I like, well, obviously it would just be allies, since it is an ally deck, but I like the Kazandu Blademaster, that's a really good creature with first strike. Um, you need the cheap creatures since you're trying to get as many allies as you can to make them fast, or make them big fast. So having the Hatterbury Blade had a free blades and the Andu clerics and the Kazandu blade masters and well maybe the excavators can be nice and then I like the raptor because it has flying um, something I like as far as the spells I like the idea of using the mimic vat because that can keep getting you more allies into play which allows your abilities to keep pumping so I like that I also like Vincer the Sojourner for the same reason, because you can exile your own creatures. <clears throat> and then when they come back into play, obviously they'll activate or trigger the ally abilities again. And then Jace is a good card, but I don't know that I like him specifically for this deck. The only reason that I would use him is for Brainstorm, or the Brainstorm ability for zero. And that would be obviously so you can gain the card advantage, but then you can use your Halimar Excavator to mill away your own cards if you don't like what's on the top, since you don't have any fetches. But that's really the only reason that I would want Jace or the Excavator in here. Granted, Jace does give you the extra card to keep drawing the allies. So on its own, the Jace can be good enough to play. The Halimar Excavator, like I said, I really only think I'd be using it to mill myself because you're not really trying, this isn't a mill deck, I mean I guess you could but that's really not the idea. And if you're playing against Eldrazi decks, then one Eldrazi to shuffle their library or the graveyard back into the library is just going to make the Excavator pointless, except for the fact that it is an ally. Uh, some things I don't like about the deck that I would change, like I said, the Excavator would only be used to mill yourself. Uh, I don't think the Baneslayer Angels are necessary. They're not. She's not an ally, and she's expensive. Yes, she's good, but you don't see her a whole lot nowadays. And I feel like she's just in there 
you just put her in there to play because she's a good card, but I would take her out to uh, add some space for some other cards. The uh, I forgot to mention the Sun Titan. I do like the Sun Titan just because you can get your allies back from the graveyard and then <clears throat> keep uh, pumping your ally effects. But, yeah, for the, for the creatures, I take out the Baneslayer Angels. Uh, I don't see the point of the ever-flowing chalices. There's a little extra mana there, but most of the stuff you play is going to be pretty cheap anyway. So, really don't, don't see the point of the chalices. I take those out for other room. The Gideon Juras, yes, they're a good card, but once again, I don't think they have any specific place in this deck or any, any way that they work with the cards specifically in this deck that would make you want to put the Gideon Jury in there. Same thing goes for Elspeth. If she made uh, ally tokens it would be different but just making soldiers isn't really going to do you much and the life gain I don't really think is going to be too much either. And obviously the last ability isn't going to be doing you any good because you want to keep all your creatures on the board and you would be killing them all with her. So I would take her out so that would mean that I would take her out of the sideboard as well. Uh, same reason I take the Frost Titan out of the sideboard because I don't see any use for him. He's just a good card, but he's not really specific to the deck. Then some changes that I would make for the cards that I would take out. First of all, I would put in Kabira Evangel, which is another ally that costs three. And when it comes into play or another ally comes into play, it gives you protection. It gives your allies protection from a chosen color. And this can be really good to allow you to get past uh, creatures at the end. Say you have a lot of creatures out and they have a lot of creatures out of the same color, then you can give them protection and push on through there. Kind of the same thing that the Vincer does for you. But it's another ally and I've played, tested some ally decks before and the Evangel is really good. Then another card that I would definitely want to put in the deck is join the ranks because it gives you two allies at instant speed which means two pump abilities or two ally activations and it's instant speed because it is um, well, the good thing about the instant speed is that it gives you the trickery of pumping your creatures at the last second when you attack or when other people attack into you and you choose to block then the one other thing that I would put in the deck is I would add some removal uh, you take your pick of white removal there's plenty of it out there but I would add, I would probably, if anything, I'd put the three Journey to Nowhere's main deck, but I'd probably try to get a total of at least four removal spells somewhere in the main deck so that it gives you some trickery, um, some removal to deal with, uh, hard to deal with creatures, and just gives you something else to do, something to play from your hand aside from just all the permanents. So those are my suggestions for this deck. I do think it could be a pretty fun deck. It's a pretty neat concept. It's not really anything new or original, but it is a concept that I like, um, especially along with uh, some of the new Planeswalker abilities like the, the Vincer, the Sojourner, and the Sun Titan. I do like the idea of bringing the allies back along with that and the Mimic of that. So those are my opinions on this deck and my inputs of what I would change and remove and add. Uh, post what you all think about the deck in the comments and let us know what you would change or add or what you like or dislike about the deck. And I will see you all next week for the next deck of the week.